Hi, Br'er Caleb, PhD. I am a harbinger for this time, if you want to know what a harbinger is, he is one that initiates a significant change, a person that originates or helps open up a new activity, method, or technology, in other words, I am a pioneer. I had a strict teacher, life, and now I enjoy it in abundance. Christianity Today, anti-Trump editorial, is this a sign of things to come? Jay Perini, a poet, and novelist teach at Middlebury College. His most recent novel is The Damascus Road, a story about St. Paul. The views expressed in this commentary belong to the author. CNN, The Dam Has Broken, Some Evangelical Christians Are Turning Against Donald Trump In The Immediate Wake Of His Impeachment By The House Of Representatives. It was bound to happen, as Trump is the least likely man in the known universe to support if you wish to take into account the example and teachings of Yahshua. But I didn't expect the reversal to come with such thunder, from Christianity Today, a flagship publication of the evangelical movement. J. Perini, this magazine represents the movement in a profound way. Billy Graham himself founded it in 1956, and it's been a beacon for evangelicals. My father, who was a Baptist minister, waited eagerly for its arrival in the mail, and I did as well. Over the years, I've admired its consistently level-headed approach to Christianity as a faith that must bear upon the actions of the individual. Mark Galley, its current editor, who is leaving the publication in two weeks, takes on Trump directly, a courageous move on his part, as his magazine has mostly been apolitical. The facts in this instance are unambiguous, the President of the United States attempted to use his political power to coerce a foreign leader to harass and discredit one of the President's political opponents, Galley writes. He draws the obvious conclusion for Christians, that is not only a violation of the Constitution, more importantly, it is profoundly immoral. I found this as well for a conversation that is desperately needed. Our society looks more like that hunting dog in Alabama, who hauls the whole time. When asked why, the answer is astounding, for he lays on a nail and doesn't want to move, for it takes too much effort. Br'er Caleb, PhD. Tough times never last, tough people do.